How's it going everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Throwback Thursday. Last time we left off, Artix had told us the story of how he first became a paladin and he first met Vale. Now it's on to the quest Artix versus the Undead. You may have noticed, but I, th I think the may not have noticed. But this whole area is one gigantic graveyard that sits right on top of the necropolis. Much of the graveyard has been claimed by this marshland on no northern and western edges. I have seen some necromancers going in and out of an area. They I think they're getting a lot of their materials there from there. Oh, and I think. Oh, sorry. We should go and see if we can do something about that. When we were coming here, I caught sight of the purple robe necromancers walking in before us. It looks like your hunch was right, Artix. Then we will start with her. Since she has had a head start, we will have to fight our way through the undead she has already raised. I'm not scared of a fight. It's time we gave this necromantress a little payback for attacking Moonridge and Falconreach. And for once we have the element of surprise on our side. You brought a surprise, Elemental? I mean, we have the drop on the necromantress. She will never see us coming. They will be coming your way very soon, my pupil. This time I will finish these heroes. Make certain that you do. I find your previous failures very disturbing. It is unlike you to fail so utterly. Mm -hmm. There will be no holding back this time. Necromantress, when the time comes, summon Edgar. Do I make myself clear? Edgar? But if I place his spirit in... The risk... Do I make myself clear? Mm. Yes, Master. It will be done. Very good. Okay. Oh, shoot. It took ash. Okay, well, hopefully it didn't take sparks as well. All right, let's start with Bonehead here. <laughs> Ugh, my voice is wearing out. I just did a uh, episode for uh, Adventure Quest 3D, which is a new Artix Entertainment game that came out from the makers of Dragon Fable. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, my voice is a little bit thrashed, and I'm a little bit tired. So we're supposed to go to the doctor tomorrow. So. Hopefully it's good news. Thank you, Sparks, for the assist. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Bible verse. Um, let me think a minute. I know I've done this a couple times before, but I guess uh, since it is Easter, uh, something about the resurrection of Jesus, or maybe the uh, the crucifixion, I should say. That seems like it would be appropriate. I also downloaded uh, Resident Evil 7, so I hope to do a demo for that pretty soon. I forgot what I wanted to say next. Oh, gosh. I had it on, in my mind during that whole fight, and I forgot it. Yay. Okay. Maybe I'll remember it after this next fight. That fight actually had me worried for a second. For a second. Let's see. I think we're almost done here. Yeah, one more, and uh, then we'll do with this guy. With the big guy. The big, 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 big guy. I can't talk today. Oh, that was easy. <clears throat> okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ooh, that's really not good. Yikes! I think you're going need to need something a little bigger. Hmm. You may be right. <laughs> okay. This should do. Ready? 
Uh, let's see. Should we do extreme? Yeah. What the heck? Let's let's do extreme. All right. Oh, is Onyx not here with me? Or am I just doing this by myself? Oh my gosh, I think this... Oh, there's Artix. Okay, he's hidden behind me. <laughs> uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Like, I don't see him, but I think he's right there. Oh, oh he's off screen. That's why. Okay, okay. I think I found a bug. That's... Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. No, well, not thank you for attacking me, but yeah. Maybe I should switch to something that does a, has a bit more punch. There we go. This should work better. That's why I was having so much trouble. There's Artix. Still buggy. Still buggy. There we go. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Wow, this is an old quest. I can't believe Artix was off screen. Ooh, combo! Okay. Blind. Thank you. Light. Okay, and we're done. Oh boy. Whoa! I think that's an actual move. Now we have you. Let us see who hides beneath those purple robes. Veil? You've unveiled Veil! I have to admit, I saw that coming. You... You animals! Us? You destroyed my brother! I have kept his spirit safe in this spirit crystal for years! Ever since... That night... I was so close get to getting Noxus to teach me to bring him back. But I used his spirit to animate that undead, and you destroyed him and the spirit crystal. Now his spirit is gone. Forever. It's all your fault. Vale, if what you say is true, then you have been keeping his spirit captive. The spirits of the dead long to move on. Noxus was lying to you when he said he would teach you how to get your brother back. If his life force was really captive all those years, then there was probably nothing left of your brother to... No! You lie! I loved my brother Edgar, and you destroyed him! I hate you, Artix! I hate you! Noxus was right. I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. Vale. Please, Vale, listen to Artix. I was holding back because of what happened when we were children, but that's over now. I will avenge my brother if it's the last thing I do. You will pay. Both of you will pay. Artix, if she's gone to warn Noxus, then we don't have a lot of time. We have to get to Noxus and stop him. I do not believe that it was her. Snap out of it, Paladin. Sepulchre won't wait for his undead army. We have a world to save from darkness. Yes, you're right. Noxus has to be stopped. Now. <laughs> Poor deluded Vale does not seem to want to understand that you and Arnix have freed her brother's life force from tormented captivity. You may have just made a dangerous new foe in the necropolis. Uh, well, spirits do long to move on, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later.
Uh, even if she is against us. God bless you, Vale.